Ah, what is up guys? Welcome to the Pottery Studio. Five tips to grow your social media audience. So we're talking about how to grow on YouTube, how to grow on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, any of the platforms, I wanna give you guys the tips that I have used to grow my following online and hopefully we can find something that helps you out. So as of right now, we have 124,000 followers on Instagram. We have like almost 800,000 or 700,000 on TikTok. We have 200 some thousand subscribers on YouTube. We have uh, 10 or 15,000 on Facebook. So social media is something that I've really incorporated into my business uh, and I wanna share with you guys my tips for growing online. Uh, before we get started, we did just revamp our whole Patreon account. So it's the easiest way to get pottery. We are sending out packets to all the patrons today. Uh, so if you sign up, you're gonna get a packet. Uh, it's like a monthly fee that you pay and then you can get pots at the end of a year or after six months or after three months. There's like a plant lover one so you can get a planter and a vase every six months or an insanity mug for seven bucks a month or a random mug so you can just get a random mug that we pick out and send you every three months. It's pretty cool. We put a lot of work into it really to provide as much value and then you guys also get percentage off all the restocks that we do. Anytime we post a restock, you guys get first access. Plus you get a discount for the our Epic Pottery event in August, which I'd love to see you at. So if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in growing your social media or building your business. And there are some Patreon tiers where you can pay and I will get on a phone call or a Zoom call or FaceTime with you for either 30 minutes every quarter or an hour every quarter and I will help you work through what you want, what your goals are, what you want to accomplish, if you want to grow online, if you want to talk about how you can sell your pottery, how you can sell your art. So if you're interested in checking out the Patreon for some consulting, coaching, that sort of thing, we have some great tiers on there for that. So check it out. All right, let's get into this video. My first tip for growing online is to, everybody knows this, but I'm gonna say it anyway and I'm gonna talk about it. Posting consistently. You can't grow on social media if you are absent, right? You gotta actually be posting things. You gotta be doing it every day or once a week or some sort of consistency to what you're doing. So as an artist, so what I do in here, you know, it's easy, it's sometimes easy and sometimes not easy to just show people what I'm doing every day because if you're making something or doing something, like lots of times you might not think that's interesting, but there's gonna be a group of people out there that have never seen that before or are interested in doing that. And so showing just what your daily task is. I mean, you've all seen the viral videos of like somebody smashing a potato at In-N-Out Burger or someone doing a really mundane job that's like super fascinating and interesting. So just making sure you're using the things that you do daily to put it up online, film yourself, film, film a time lapse, um, do something interesting or maybe you don't think it's that interesting but somebody else might find it interesting. So when you post consistently, you're able to see what is gonna work, right? What gets traction? So if you post something today and it gets a few views, but then you post something tomorrow and you did it in this style, then that one got a lot, few more views, then you can make adjustments in how you're producing your content, whether it's video or photos, or if you show behind the scenes or you show finished work or whatever, whatever does well, then you can continue to make more of that content. And so posting consistently will help you to see what does well and make adjustments. I always think as each post, like each piece of content, whether it's for YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, is kind of like a lottery ticket, right? Every time you post, you're kind of like, okay, this one might do really well. And lots of times they don't, you know, they get a few views or a couple people like it or whatever. But then every once in a while you get like one that goes crazy. Like for example, last year I did a horsehair raku where we like burn horsehair on a pot while it's really hot. And it was like my wife just had my phone, she took a clip, and that video got 62 million views on Instagram. And it basically took me from 60,000 followers up to like 120,000 followers in a matter of like three weeks. So that was like a winning lottery ticket, right? But I'd posted 100 videos before that that did okay. Same thing on YouTube, you know? I have a few videos on YouTube that have millions of views, while most of the videos get five to 10,000 views. And so every time I put a video up, it's like probably gonna do okay, but then you might get that one out of 100 that really goes crazy. And those are what really help to grow that following online. All right, so post consistently, buy those lottery tickets, right? That's my first tip. Second tip, quality 
over quantity. So I know those two tips kind of conflict with each other because you have to make sure that your content you're posting is quality and it's always, always, always better to make sure it's a quality post or quality content over quantity. So just like I was talking about with the lottery ticket, the higher quality or the better thought out content that you have has a better chance of doing well or going viral, right? So you look at the guys like Mark Rober on YouTube or Mr. Beast on YouTube or just the people that have huge followings and each piece of content that they do is super high quality. Like either if it's Mr. Beast, he puts tons of money into it or Mark Rober is like, has such a thoughtful approach to the whole story. And it's just amazing to see how much better it is if you can do quality posting over quantity posting. So I know my first tip is posting consistently. And then the second tip is making sure that that content that you're posting is quality because that will always do better than just throwing something up there. And these are tips for me too. I don't, I'm not any expert on it. I'm just telling you what I think works well. Not that I always do this because I've certainly had not quality posts before. Uh, but I think that if you can focus on quality over quantity, uh, it will help in the long run. Okay, my tip number three is making content for the audience that you want, not necessarily the audience that you have, right? So for me, I am making content around pottery, around tutorials, and so a lot of the people that follow me are you know, either teachers or students or people that are wanting to learn pottery. Uh, but if you think about like who is actually going to watch your videos, are they, you know, what demographic are they from? What are they going to be buying a product from you? Are they going to, you know, what is the end goal for you? Who is the audience that you want? And then identify that audience and then make content for that specific audience. Because if you're just kind of making videos about whatever, or you're posting about whatever, it can be fine and it can be great for what you're doing. But if your goal is to grow on social media, then identifying that audience and then making content that caters to that specific audience can be super helpful in growing. Number four, you gotta just do it, right? So I know there's a lot of like, oh, what am I gonna post? How am I gonna do this? Like a lot of people have a hesitancy to start posting because they wanna wait until they're either better at their craft or better at you know content creation or whatever it is, but in reality, it's the actual doing of it that will help you learn and that will give you experience to like continue to grow and make your content better. Uh, there's a great quote that, don't wait to be great to start, you have to start to be great. So the point is, is that you get great at what you're doing and what you're, you know, how you share it online and growing on social media by actually doing it. That's number four. Number five, okay, number five, the fifth tip for growing consistently online or growing on your social media platform is look at what works well at each individual platform, right? Like what is important about content creation about that platform? For example, YouTube has a few things that are really important. The title and the thumbnail are super important. So like what you pick to show your audience before they click on your video, like how engaging is the thumbnail and then how engaging is the title, that's getting them to watch your content, right? That's important, number one. And number two for YouTube is the quality of your content. So YouTube is constantly measuring how long in a video are people watching before they drop off, right? And that's how they measure is that content good? Like is the video good enough that people wanna continue to watch the whole thing? or 80% or 50% or 30%. And the more that people are watching it, the more likely that YouTube is to show your video to other people. So making sure that the content is good, engaging the whole time, and then the title and thumbnail are good. So those are really important for YouTube. Now, Instagram reels are very popular and a very good way to grow online, to grow your social media, but you can't make a reel like you can make a YouTube video, right? They're completely different. So the platforms have different ways that you need to approach them if you wanna grow on that platform, right? Like Facebook and, I mean, all of the platforms are using videos a lot. So I would say for sure, like using video content, using your phone, like to just video what you're doing, time-lapse, voiceovers, all those things are tools to grow online. All right, number six, my bonus one. The bonus tip for growing your social media is be you, have fun, and do what you love. It's very clear that people that grow online consistently are people that are having fun with what they're doing. They're just being themselves. They're not trying to do something like 
just to do it, for, you know, because it's gonna get seen by a few people or go viral or whatever, like, just be you. Have fun and share what you do. I mean, to be thoughtful about how you're doing it. You know, if you're trying to do YouTube, make sure that you, the thumbnails and the titles are good, but the content should be you, right? That's the only way that you make this whole thing last and that you can grow consistently is if you share with you. And it can be difficult, like when you turn on the camera the first few times, like, you're trying to figure out, how do I talk to the camera? How do I do this and that? Well, it comes with time. I've done 300 videos, and every time I just get a little bit more comfortable talking to the camera, making videos, being myself. Like, if you look at my original videos way back in the day, I kind of went over the top, like, excited. I was just like, ah! And then, like, I kind of toned it back a little bit where I'm just becoming more of myself in the videos opposed to trying to be this, like, on-person character that I think people will like. It's just like, just be you, you know? That's the only way this whole thing works. I could just keep thinking of tips, but I just thought of another tip. So prioritizing good content over your perfect gear and setup, like if you have your phone on you and you can capture something interesting that's happening, it's so much better than trying to grab a nice camera or make sure that the lighting is right or whatever. Like the new way that everything is is like, you can do everything with your phone. You don't need this fancy camera that I'm filming on right now to make great content. Like I have it and so I use it, but you don't need it. Phone is plenty good for filming most anything that you can do and sometimes it's even better. Like I feel like the, the fancy camera stuff that I do sometimes on Instagram or TikTok or whatever doesn't do as well if I just film it with my phone because the phone footage feels like more real. It feels less cinematic or whatever, like it's just more relatable when you can do it on your phone. People are like, oh, this is like, I could do that. So anyway, that's number seven. You guys are just getting tons and tons of tips. Anyway, all right, check out the Patreon. Uh, we have a restock coming up July 9th with a bunch of pots, uh, just tons of stuff. We're firing the gas kiln tomorrow for the first time. Very exciting. So I'll see you guys in the next video.